Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I hope everyone is having a really nice summer. Sorry I haven't made a lot of videos. Just been super busy with kids home and enjoying the summer with them. But today I wanted to hop on and do a quick video and show you guys how to do special characters in design space because there's so many cool options that you can do. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on that and show you guys some cool ideas. So we're going to do it over in Creative Fabrica and you do not have to be a member to do what I'm going to show you. It is I'm pretty sure that it's free because I haven't always had Creative Fabrica. So I do, but so I'm pretty sure it's free, but don't quote me, but I am thinking it is. You're over here in Creative Fabrica. You're going to go to Tools and we're going to go right down to Font Cloud and we're going to click on it. Then we are going to, then we're going to click on Open Font Cloud. We're going to do special characters and those special characters are actually called glyphs. So I will go ahead and show you how to do that. You're gonna see here that I have a lot of fonts and these are all fonts that I've gotten like from Defont or it, most of them are free fonts. And what you do is when you download the font, you'll want to, um, just because you download it to your computer, you also have to download it in here into Font Cloud. All you would do is just go to browse, browse and then you would just add it and it uploads. It's super simple. So let's say that we are going to do my name. So you would just type in right there the, what you want to use and then you can do a quick glance right here at all the different fonts and what my name would look like in those different fonts. And then what we're going to do, there's one that I really like. It is um, Joseph Safina. So let's scroll down to Joseph and it is right here. So we're going to click here. So you can see right here, it says Joseph Sophia. So that's the font we're going to use. So let me go ahead and I'll write my name again. And then we're gonna scroll down because here you'll see glyphs. This is where all the additional glyphs are and those are those special characters. So let's scroll down and see what we can find. Okay, so what I would do if I want to use this this Y is I'm all I have to do is click on it and then you'll see it says character copy to clipboard and then you're going to select the letter that you want to change highlight it right click and paste so there we have Tori just like that and you can even put um, let's see let's do that that's my that used to be one of my doggies Samson all right so isn't that pretty cool? You can do that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open Cricut Design Space and let me show you how we get this over to Cricut Design Space. This is Joseph Sophia. So whatever font you're going to use, you have to have that font uploaded to Cricut Design Space as well. To install any font on Cricut Design Space, it's super easy. All you need to do is find your font that you want to download and then you're going to double click then hit in, then click on install and then you'll want to make sure that Cricut Design Space after that you close it and then reopen it and then your font should be there or if you're in Cricut Design Space you can always hit refresh as well but all you need to do is just install it to your desktop and that's it super easy so when you upload it here, you also want to upload it to Cricut Design Space. And once you do that, then you can go ahead and just select all of this and hit Control C or copy. We're going to go over to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to just insert a text and I'm going to hit Control V to paste. This is what it looks like. If you notice here, this is Cricut Sans. So I have to change it to Joseph and voila, see how easy that is. So as long as this has the same font, so this is again, this is Joseph Sophia. And over here, this is Joseph Sophia. Then all you do is just copy and paste it over here and there's a couple things too that I wanted to show you so so you can see here that some of it is not touching you want to touch to have it all touch what you do is go up here to ungroup 
and then these letters will separate. Drag this just like so. Just drag that over. And then I can go ahead and select all this since this is together anyway and just slide this over and there you go. Then I can select all of this and I'm going to group it and then we can go ahead and weld it just so it stays together and that's it. That's how easy that is. So let me show you another one. There's another one that I really like and I think it's Stella. So let's go back over here and let's do, this is still on Joseph Sophia. So let's go down to Stella. This one is Stella Wilson. So I'm gonna click on Stella Wilson. And then we wanna scroll down here to look at the glyphs. So let's see what they have. I remember I really liked stuff over here. Okay, so I'm going to take this N. So I'm just gonna click on it and it says character copied to dashboard. We're gonna select that N and then paste. So there you can see here, that's what it's gonna look like so far. Then let's scroll down and let's do an L. So we're gonna do here. So right here, I'm gonna do this L. So I'm gonna click there, go up to the L and then select it and paste. So we have that just like this. So now I want to copy all of this. I'm just gonna select it, right click and copy. And then remember this is Stella Wilson. We're gonna go over to Cricut Design Space and do text. And we're going to control V to cop to paste it, okay? And remember it has to have the same font name. So we're gonna go up here and I'm going to change this to Stella. So let's type in. Okay, so let me show you something. I thought I had Stella Wilson on here and I think when I did an update or something, maybe it's just no longer there. So let me show you how to fix that. We're gonna go back over here and this is Stella Wilson. All I'm gonna do is click download and this is just going to download the font. And I'm gonna go ahead and just save that to my desktop. Once you um, click install on your computer and then you wanna make sure that this is refreshed. Sometimes you have to actually close Cricut Design Space and reopen it. I used to see a refresh button up here and I don't know what happened to it. So anyway, we're gonna click here and I'm gonna type in Stella. And there we go. And there we go. So let's change it to black so it looks nice and bold. But um, let's make that bigger. So super easy to do and you'll be amazed at all the different kind of fonts. They have extra glyphs sometimes at the bottom. And I just wanted to jump on really quick and show you guys that. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So if you don't already subscribe, make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And if you like this video, make sure to give me the thumbs up. See you guys in the next one. Bye.